Hey everybody, my name is Steve Didier and this is the Mexico Minute where I answer your questions about Mexico in about a minute. And the topic for today, retiring in Mexico. Where are the best places to retire in Mexico? There are a lot of Americans especially, and Canadians as well, um, that are looking to retire abroad for a wide variety of reasons. Uh, a lot of people want to make sure that their retirement nest egg goes a little bit further. So they're looking for a place where it's cheaper cost of living. Uh, there's some places, you know, some people that are just, Americans especially, are kind of a little bit worried about what's going on in the country on a political level. You know, there's a lot of different reasons. I hear, every single day I hear different reasons for people wanting to retire down here to Mexico. Whatever your reason is. Um, the best places to retire in Mexico, uh, you have a lot of options and it all really depends on a couple things. What are you looking for uh, in terms of where you want to live? You know, are you looking for a climate that's a little bit more temperate? Are you looking for, you know, you're looking for something where there's a lot of beach and water activity, maybe it's a little bit more warmer and more humid. You know, you have to really kind of think through what's important to you. Like I myself, uh, I chose Playa del Carmen and there was a wide variety of reasons for that. I've, I've been here before and I absolutely love it. There's an energy here that uh, it's just it's just amazing. It's hard to describe and, until you actually experience it. But it's on the Caribbean side of Mexico. It's a very mellow, um, very beautiful. The, the, the Caribbean is very blue. The beaches are white sandy. Uh, this is a little bit contrast to Cabo. Like Cabo is, is a whole different vibe than Playa del Carmen. Uh, Cabo's a lot more <laughs> basically like South Southern California. Uh, very developed and the water is a whole different thing. The Pacific is much different than the Caribbean. So if you're not going to go in the water that much, you know, like if you're into surfing, probably won't be on the Pacific side because the, the water here is so calm, there's really, really no surfing. A lot of other water sports, snorkeling, paddle boarding, and things like that. Um, and then you, you've got more mountainous type towns. You've got Lake Chapala, very popular with expats. You've got uh, Cornavaca was very popular for a long time with Americans and Canadians. So there's a, there's a lot of different options. Um, to single out one as the absolute best place to retire would be difficult because it all depends on your own personal taste. Myself, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm partial to the Riviera Maya because I love this Caribbean feel. I love the, the, the water is amazing. I love the vibe here. It's a much slower pace of life. It's, you know, it's, it's warm year round, 320 days of sunshine. Um, like myself, I'm not too fond of Cancun. It's a little bit more of a party town. Playa is a little bit more laid back. It's not, you know, a little bit more European, a little bit more cosmopolitan. South of here is Tulum. Um, it's a little bit more off the grid, a little bit more mellow. So definitely some places to check out, but any place, any of the normal places like that, it can be, A, they're gonna be very safe. They're gonna have the, the necessary uh, amenities, like Wi-Fi here and, and computer access and, and restaurants. I can go up to Walmart if I want. You know, there, there are a lot of things here that will be familiar to you as an American or Canadian or whoever who's thinking of retiring here to Mexico. And there's over one million Americans who already live full-time in Mexico. So it's very popular. The cost of living is much cheaper. And like I said, it's just a whole different way of life. And it's, it's, it's really something that I enjoy. So best place can be up to you. Do a little bit of research, but just understand that Mexico as a whole is a great place to retire. There's, there's huge expats communities. You're going to meet other people who have the same ideas as you. So you can run into other retired people and there are always things to do. And you know, your, your retirement budget will definitely go a lot further in Mexico. Now, if, if you're a little bit tight on your retirement budget and you'd like to be able to earn a little extra money, I found a way, that's how I moved to Mexico, is learning how to market online. So if you're comfortable with computers or think you can get comfortable, it's not rocket science, it's actually pretty easy, click the link below, check out the information and you know, really, really take a look at that. Any, any questions you have for me, just contact me directly. I'll be able to happily, happily answer any questions you have. Uh, but online marketing has been something that has allowed many of my friends and many other people that I know to be real stress-free, live where they want to live, live how they want to live, 
and just really enjoy life, whether you're younger or whether you're retirement age, or it doesn't matter. Anybody can always use some extra money coming in. So click the link below or visit my website at findfreedomfirst.com. That's findfreedomfirst.com. And I will see you all again for another edition of the Mexico Minute. Take care.